Hi babes, it's Holly here from Holly Makeup Loves on Instagram. If you guys haven't checked me out already, make sure to check me out over there. I post every day about makeup, skincare, hair care, beauty, style. And make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube. I post every week with new beauty videos for you guys. Today's video is gonna be a hair tutorial for you guys. I did one recently with a three barrel curler. Um, I'm doing the same one today. It's just I'm using a new three barrel curler that kind of is my new favorite. Guys, a little bit of an updated rundown on how I wear my hair in those kind of soft, loose waves and how, how I do it, what products I use and all of that. So my hair, I washed last night. I like to wash my hair the night before when I do hair looks. I find the next day it just holds whatever style I'm doing better. And I always go in with a heat protectant. So I'm using the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Spray first. I like this one, it's super affordable and it um, smells good like you just washed your hair. So I spray a few, um, I do a few sprays into my hand and then just put it throughout my hair and kind of twirl it around like this until it's kind of dried onto my hair. So I just section my hair with a hair clip into kind of half up, half down. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that. And I'll take my bottom section here and just brush it out so that it is smooth and it doesn't have any knots in it or get kinked when I'm curling it. Okay, and then I'm gonna take, I guess I'll show you guys the iron I'm using first. So I got this Tidal Hair Wand. It's a brand from Australia and I mean, it looks super gorgeous. It's got a digital display for the amount of heat you wanna put on, which I always like for curling irons, depending on your hair type. And so far I've really loved using it. So I section my hair first and with this hair look, it just doesn't have to be perfect. That's kind of the beauty of it. So I take about probably like a two, probably like a two or three inch section of hair and I pull it kind of tight. I put my waver in close to the base and just hold for a few seconds, loosen it, clamp back down, hold it for a few more seconds. And I just overlap on that last little dip in the wave so that there's no kinks and it's just a nice little rippled wave. And then I'll kind of let that set, let that cool down and then I will kind of brush my hair out after. And it's important to do horizontal sections, not vertical sections or it'll kind of mess up the curls. So you can have them wide, but not tall. Does that make sense? And I go kind of all the way to the end. Good, so this side of my hair is curled. You can see how gorgeous these waves look. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side of my head. So I've curled both sections of my hair. So I'll let the top section down and I'll do my center part because that's how I like to wear my hair. And then just grab those two, separate the two top sections, give that a quick brush so that it's nice and smooth. And then I like to start at the back of this section with my waver. So I'll take the same thing, just a couple inch section. And pull it kind of tight, bring that waver in, hold for a few seconds, lift and then clamp back down to continue that wave all the way down the hair. So that looks good so far. And then in the front, when I get to that front little piece, I just kind of bring it straight forward on my face. So I'll let that set and I'll fix it up kind of after, but I'll go in and do this side. Okay, so I'm done curling this side of my head now too. The next step I'm gonna go in with is a dry shampoo, a volumizing dry shampoo. So it's kind of a mix between a volumizing texture spray and a dry shampoo. So I love that, it's two steps in one. 
So I'm using the Unite Volumizing Dry Shampoo and I like to spray this kind of in the middle of my hair on this side. This stuff smells so good too. It smells like perfume or something like that. It is so good. And one more thing I like to do, so I'm gonna do some back combing now. So I'm going in with my dry bar teasing comb and I always tease the back of my hair here to add a little bit of volume. And then throughout my hair, I'm just gonna add a little bit of back combing through the curled section with that waver, just to add some fullness and texture. I'll calm this down. That side's really big. And then I just kind of play around with it to get it to the right texture, fullness level. I'm loving how this is looking. A lot of quicker and easier to do and not many products you need to get this wave look, which is awesome for summer, but I honestly think it's beautiful all year round. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial I did for you today on this hair look. Make sure to check me out on Instagram. Like I said, I post every day over there and make sure to like and subscribe to me here on YouTube. I post every week with new videos for you guys. So, I will see you guys next time.